Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have a big Player of the Month SBC dropping today, and we know it's dropping today because EA told us so a couple days ago with one of their tweets. We are going to take a look at the Player of the Month, Ben Yetter, that we are expecting to see today as a part of our Tuesday content in FIFA. And also, we have to talk about what happened yesterday. We had the 83 times 10 SBC, which really isn't that great of value, even though just about everybody is doing it for the gamble aspect. And guess what? We get to do it again today. But we didn't get an icon or a hero pack, and that's got fodder actually going down in a lot of areas but other fodder is going up right your 82s 83s 84s all rising because of this sbc we'll talk about what that means for the rest of the fodder market going throughout the rest of this week and maybe still the potential of an icon pack coming out just not on the normal ea schedule that they have been following in the recent weeks now also with today we've got champions league action returning and we have got a really big game between Liverpool and Real Madrid coming this evening which of course puts these live cards on the line upgrades are on the line for today especially for like four of these cards that are playing today it's going to be really exciting to watch these games and today begins one of the most exciting times of live trading on the entire year of FIFA Road to the final live trading. I'm so excited for it today on stream. It's going to be an absolute blast. Hope we have a lot of goals, a lot of movement, and uh, some really good upgrades coming at the end of the week. So we're going to talk all that and more in today's video. If you're excited for it, hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Let's start with the SBC. Player of the Month, Ben Yedder, right? Now, this one's kind of like a guarantee, right? EA tweeted this out last week saying that Ben Yedder is our Player of the Month. And they said SBC available February 21st. Last time I checked, the watch today is the 21st. So, Ben Yedder, Player of the Month, today on a Tuesday. What's it going to look like, right? We have got a Yedder 88 in form and an 89 Centurions. He is in the team of the week that's going out of packs tomorrow on Wednesday, which was very nice to see him in last week, which means hopefully today the player of the month is 89 rated. If EA are Scrooges and want to be mean, they can make it 88 rated, but if they're going to do that, then they better make it cheap. So either 88 or 89 today, I'd be shocked if it was 90. That would be not a very like EA type thing to do, but I think 89 is the most realistic expectation for a rating on a player of the month Ben Yedder today. Now all comes down to the price. What is this going to cost? Well, kind of funny enough last year we had an 88 rated Ben Yedder player of the month that was coming in at 288,000 coins literally at this exact same time during the end of future stars into the road to the final promo last year hopefully the Ben Yedder this year is right around the same stats as this 89 I would love it if they went above and beyond but I don't expect them to and because of that I think the SBC today for Ben Yedder is probably going to be around the 350,000 coin price I mean what they've been doing with player of the months this year is they've been putting them almost spot on the value of a special card that a player has that is already that rating they're not going too much above that and they're really not going too much below that so I would say anywhere between three to 350 that'd be a really specific guess but that's kind of where I would guess this player of the month Ben Yedder is today now how's that going to affect the market is it going to impact fodder I think it could I feel like it's going to be probably a three or four section SBC with a lot of your middle tier being affected by this maybe some 86s and 87s going up a little bit but really I think fodder would be impacted the most like if the SBC value is like very very cheap and people are rushing out to get a player of the month Ben Yedder done today that's you know what's going to make fodder move the most if it's just okay value it's probably not going to move that much um, of course you have other SBCs like the 83 times 10 refreshing in today that would have a lot of demand for the 83s and the 84s once again so I don't think it's going to impact fodder too much unless EA surprises with something super cheap or if it's 90 rated and good value now places where I would watch out for right we talk about this a lot but Ben Yetter's current special card the Centurions you guys know this guy is down in price for sure I mean he was upwards of 400,000 coins and now he is down at like 370,000 coins and he's been low for the past basically like seven days since EA tweeted out that he won the player of the month award this is probably going to drop if the SBC is decent value today and even drop a little bit into content today as people expect the SBC other cards that I watch out for other French strikers right Lacazette or Lacazette is a perfect example of a card that could drop today but Ben Yedder is such a big name in terms of a FIFA meta card that a lot of your either France strikers and some of your other league one strikers maybe just strikers in general today could take a hit in price 
if the Ben Yedder has some hype, just because it's Ben Yedder, he's probably going to have, you know, maybe they give him 90 shooting over a Centurions card. That would be fantastic if they did that. But it's a five-star weak foot, four-star skill, FIFA meta card. People know his name being the rat, right? So that's going to be an SBC with a lot of hype around it today. Hopefully it's good value. And hopefully they juice the card up. Surprise us with that one, EA. Come on now. Give us something spicy with a Player of the Month, Benyetter. But that's kind of the big piece of content for today in terms of SBCs. Now, like we mentioned as well, the fodder market is not doing exactly what we thought it was going to do because we didn't get the exact content we thought we were going to get yesterday. We had the 81 plus double and the 83 times 10, which of course, with the SBC fodder side of the market, we did see some stuff go up. It just wasn't exactly what we thought, right? 83s. 2.4k almost two and a half thousand coins for 83s they are back up in value once again 84s have gone from the low 4k range up to above 5,000 coins everything else is literally back down to where it was yesterday when we were looking at fodder and talking about the potential of an icon pack and since we didn't get it of course this stuff is right back down now where's the potential of this coming to or going today right could the 91s go from 60k where they are now back up to a higher price yes but we need an icon or a hero pack if it doesn't drop today or anytime throughout the rest of this week fodder on this game is probably just kind of headed towards a price correction which if you think about it fodder has been so great to trade in in the past what do we say like month and a half like take it all the way back to december where fodder prices were a lot lower than what they are right now right you look at all the 91s in the middle of december these guys were like 53,000 coins and this graph doesn't show it really good really zoomed out because de bruyne was expensive earlier on in the year but since we have come into the new year and into january our 91 rated cards have been between 60 and 70k they have been very high in value um kind of compared to where they have been throughout the rest of the year you look at your 90 rated like courtois 51,000 coins but you look in december he was consistently between the middle 40k range even down to as low as low 40s but then you can see that fodder for the past month or so has been really inflated and i think what this might be the end of is this just might be the end of fodder being really really high right we had a pretty low point here and in late December, even in like middle of December, 27, 28K. But what have we seen recently with 88s? 30, 30,000 coins plus on like all of these cards because we've had a big player of the month in Mbappe. We've had SBCs like the Ramos, and all, all those other big SBCs that we had during Team of the Year that are kind of now starting to expire, all the Icon SBCs, Team of the Year Icons. So some of that demand for the SBC fodder on the higher tier is starting to dwindle. And of course, without a big Icon or a Hero Pack, that's not helping these prices at all either. So if we don't get an icon or a hero today, I would honestly expect to see fodder start to dwindle and the demand dwindle. So the price is probably going down a little bit as well. And, um, you know, it's just a bit of an unfortunate situation because, you know, EA some, sometimes do this around this time of the year, but usually they're pretty consistent, right? They're really consistent with the weekly icon or the hero packs. And this week, unless they're changing their, their tune a little bit and dropping it later in the week, they're just uh, kind of going off the schedule. So it's unfortunate to lose coins on fodder. And I understand some of you guys may have invested in fodder for the hopeful uh, release of an icon pack. And now it's not dropping. It's like, Nate, what do I do with this stuff? And I guess kind of taking it in full circle in the big picture is, yeah, this stuff is down. It's kind of right where you bought it at, right? It's not really down a crazy amount because there's still SBCs. There's still potential for it to go up, but you just have to be careful because if we don't get anything else, it's probably going to go lower. And if you think about it this way, like fodder has been and is the most profitable way consistently to make easy coins on this game year round. And this year in FIFA has been no difference, right? Uh, even though Tony Cruz is right now like 28K and yesterday he was probably around 30, you know, like these cards being a little bit lower than where they were, some of them the same, some a little lower. I mean, how many times has fodder let us down this year on a consistent basis? Not very often, right? This is like one time out of the past, literally like 10 weeks, it feels like, where fodder has gone down um, into the start of the week and not gone up, right? Fodder is such a consistent flip. So we've made way more coins than lost in this fodder. So just kind of keep that in perspective that um, this week is an anomaly, it kind of feels like, right, for how it's been this year. Uh, but yeah, we just have to watch the SBCs throughout this week to see where EA go and to see what fodder does. But of course, for the lower tier part of the market with the 83 times 10 refreshing today, you know, your 83s and your 84s, they're going to be even, 
in demand more today, right? People maybe exhausted their club of some coins yesterday with maybe, I opened it 84 times 20 yesterday, right? I rinsed about half those players out doing uh, an SBC and doing the 84 are doing the 83 and the 84 squads of the 83 times 10, even though the 83 times 10 is like so downvoted on Footbin, so many people are still doing it. It's 80K, right? But people are still doing it because it's a gamble pack SBC to do. So people are going to do it again today. Watch out for your low tier fodder. Also 81 doubles. I don't know why this is so downvoted. I think this is a dub. I know it requires 10 rares, but it's only 6.8 or 7K to do. I mean, not the rare golds are really not up at all. So 10 rare golds, basically, let's call it 7,000 coins to do. Um, it's not that bad, honestly. I know you have to get like an 84 or above to like break even, but you get two cards and you know, you have a really good opportunity to pack a lot of promo cards right now because there are just so many cards in packs with Road to the Final being such a big promo team not saying the drop weight's that great but i like an 81 plus double uh just because you get two different cards in the pack both 81 rated it feels like you're getting boards just about every single time so i'm a fan of that i don't know what you guys are thinking about it but uh let me know down in the comments what you think about 81 doubles of course the pack weight's not going to be 100 percent amazing all the time but i feel like it's pretty solid now what else could we see today um, I'm not expecting too much else. We do have, of course, the refresh of like, I mean, first owner Fiesta probably is refreshing today. The Ben Yetter. Um, I don't think there's anything else super crazy that I'm expecting today on the game. I'm still waiting, a, awaiting a leak or some sort of information about, you know, other teams that have not been represented by live cards yet in the Champions League specifically, like Milan, right? So really curious to see if we get some leaks around that. Also start to look out for like leaks of what the next promo is going to be. Where there's grumblings of like silver stars, like because that was what happened last year. Some people are like headliners, maybe it feels too late for that. You know, the leak front has been very quiet. I'm expecting leaks at least in the next couple of days for at least something because there's got to be some content upcoming on this game uh, that EA is going to be leaking and kind of spilling the beans on. So just kind of keep an eye out for that, whether it's upcoming promo news or uh, another like a Champions League SBC or a flashback because EA said something about the flashback rewinds, right? Or yeah, road to the final rewind players. All that we have right now is uh, Spinazzola, like that's it. So hopefully we get some more of that and some news about more of that as well. But what I want to talk about for the rest of the video is the live cards and the market because today, I'm telling you guys, these are some of my most favorite days on FIFA Days like today where there are games happening in the Champions League and there are live card upgrades on the line. Because again, for the Champions League games, these players and their clubs have to win uh, to get the first upgrade, right? If there is wins that happen today between Real Madrid, Liverpool, or uh, Frankfurt and Napoli, right? Even EA had this little nice idea to put the key matchups in here on the market tab. If you scroll out, you can see key matchups this week, right? Two of those are today, right? Tuta versus Raspadori. A lot of people are invested in him and Alaba and Firmino, right? The big games got the big expensive players in it. But, you know, even between Frankfurt and Napoli, there's a lot of people invested for this game. Now, what should you be doing with these live cards, right? Let's look at specifically Raspadori because I know a lot of people have invested in him. And I think, is he extinct? Yeah, my man's extinct now. So extinct at 190,000 coins, still popping up from time to time, but his price has risen a lot and it's because they're heavily favored. They're expected to win this game today. Now, if you don't want to risk it at all, you can sell into the hype. I don't know when he's going to get a price range update and that's part of the issue with this card. That's another variable that's thrown in there, right? He is extinct at 190K, not selling. Now, in theory, People think this card is worth more than 190k, but I think some of that first win is kind of priced into this card already, so I'd be careful with that, but selling into the hype when it comes to these live cards is usually the play. That's the no-risk move, right? I bought a Firmino to try out yesterday at 1.65 million coins. He is up, I believe, to about 1.73. This is a card for me today since I'm like broke right now with all the other investments that I've made. I'm not going to hold on to this card. I'm going to be selling him. Hopefully, I mean, if I could sell at 175, I would make a little bit of coins. I'm not super worried about making a ton on this card. I was just wanting to, to buy him to try him out because I saw his price was pretty low. But this is a card that I'm not going to 
to hold on to today because I want to have the coins. Now, other cards, if you feel really confident about Napoli and Raspidori, you know, hold those cards through the game. But you have to be careful just because, like, if um, Frankfurt were to score first, you guys know, right? This is where it gets crazy on days like today. Let's say Frankfurt were to score first. And I picked up a Tuta for 27,000 coins because I was like, you know what? Little to no risk, a Brazilian center back in the Bundesliga. Nobody expects them to win today. If they somehow score first or pull it off, this guy is going to explode, right? And the same thing, uh, honestly, for Firmino, right? I feel like Liverpool are, are a little bit of underdogs into today. It's just different because it's on you know a lot grander scale and a lot more um, expensive scale. But whoever scores first, you're going to see prices move because, again, today is a day where the upgrades are on the line. For like up games that are happening today, these games, the upgrades will happen on Friday, right? EA have told us that. That's confirmed. So, you know, whoever scores first or whoever concedes first as well, there's going to be a lot of movement because people are expecting these cards to get upgraded. Like if Alaba and Real Madrid score first, could Alaba go up to 1.2 mil? Absolutely. Now, what I would tell you to do is if you want to take the opportunity to sell a card that has a team that is either winning in the moment of the game or scores a goal early on, what I would tell you to do is sell about five to 10 minutes after that goal is scored because that's where you're going to see a price that is going to spike. And then people that bought the card that see the price spike will look to undercut and look to sell. And you'll see a bit of a dip after that. And then potentially the card could go back up later on, depending on how big the dip is. And if they win the game, then of course that upgrade is going to be coming later on this week. So these cards are so fun to trade with, man. I'm telling you, I made millions of coins last year trading with these cards. I'm excited to do it again uh, starting today, right? Today, tomorrow with all the games that are happening. So use today as like a really good day to learn. If you've never done this before or if you don't, um, if you want to sit on the sidelines maybe and watch this and see kind of how it works out and how it plays out and watch the market and learn today, come in the live stream. We're going to be trading with these cards during the day today. Um, I have, I'll have i have enough coins to buy whatever happens, right? If Liverpool sc score first, I'm definitely going to go and buy a Firmino because imagine this card with an upgrade, right? Not many people are expecting this card with already such a massive boost right i mean you give this guy a plus one we're talking 89 pace maybe even they give him 89 shooting 88 passing you know a plus one usually means that two individual stats get plus twos this card would be cracked right same thing with alaba the other side of the coin let's say real madrid go ahead and win today you're looking at an alaba card with like you know 91 defense 87 physical 86 dribbling maybe and maybe they give him plus two pace and he goes to 85 and he goes to 90 overall that's a card that of course would look really really good with another plus one upgrade so it's just going to be so much fun today live trading with these cards but again the best thing i can tell you is if you don't want to risk it sell into the hype right and that's what i'm going to do with the firmino probably going to list him up here pretty soon try to get an extra 20 or 30k for him um, and sell into the hype and then you don't have to worry about it and you can live trade in the game but if you believe in a team and you want to hold strong and hold through then you can hold until later on in the competition uh, but for me i'm going to be selling at least at firmino i don't have any other cards invested that play today besides just the club stock tuda so that's kind of where i'm thinking with those cards of course it's so risky so, so risky with these cards, but so, so fun uh, at the same time. Now, most of these card prices are still doing pretty well. Uh, a couple of them are down a little bit. Like Ferran Torres is about 215 right now. As you can see yesterday, uh, we bought him down here in the low 190s. He peaked at about 215 pre-content. And then some cards went down just a little bit, right? I mean, uh, Lucas Mora, I bought at 191, 192. He was as high yesterday as like 210, I believe. Did he go all the way to 210? Yeah, 209, 210. Now he's kind of back down around 200,000 coins. So some cards had some peaks yesterday and now they're down slightly. I'm not worried about that at all. I think, again, I'm trying to play a little bit more of the long game with a couple of these cards here. So I am holding on to these. And whenever we get, like if we get a Ben Yedder today with a really a great amount of uh, value and a lot of people that want to do that SBC, and if there's tradable packs inside of that SBC, that could impact some of these prices. You might be like, Nate, why did those road to the finals drop just a little bit yesterday? Inside of the 83 times 10, there were two segments, right? And inside of those two segments were two different tradable packs that you got for completing that SBC. So a combination of that supply there and then the daily pack SBC that we got as well. I think it might have been a tradable pack. 
Um, I have to go find this SBC. Where did it go? The one that we had yesterday was the three for the win. It was a two rare gold players pack, so that's not really that big of a pack. But if we get another good SBC, like Benzigal, three for the win, I'm not sure which one is today, the one that links up with objectives. Um, but if it's a decent tradable pack, that could bring some tradable supply to the market. Uh, I think it's this one, either Outstanding or La Decimal Quarta. One of these two is probably going to be our SBC for today, which, again, could bring a little bit of tradable supply to the game. So watch out for Road to the Finals, but I'm not expecting any big movements because these guys are just so hyped. The live upgrades are on the line. People are invested. that are waiting. And these cards, especially if the content continues to be just mid as it has been, these cards are just going to continue to creep up in price as the upgrades get closer and as more and more people get hyped for these games. But today's a really big day for the first Champions League games with the live cards in the game. The last thing to point out for today is I guess there is a potential of UEFA marquee matchups, right? Got to point that out today. If you stuck around for the end of the video, um, this is something for you because UEFA marquee matchups could bring some supply to the market today as well. And it could, it could drop a few of these cards. It really could. I'm not that worried about it. Um, I feel like today is our highest percentage chance of seeing a UEFA marquee matchups, which is basically just regular marquee matchups um, with tradable packs inside of it, right? For the Champions League games. So we'll see if that happens today, but EA have not been doing that a lot this year. They didn't do it last week with the first set of games, but they could do it today because, um, you know, we're inside of a Champions League based promo. So watch out for that. There's potential for that today as well. That might hurt fodder a little bit and also could bring some supply to road to the finals, but we'll cross that bridge today on stream when we get there. So yeah, kind of uneventful day yesterday besides at 83 times 10, but hopefully today brings the hype and brings some coins with some good flips and some fun trades. And we're going to do it all on stream today. I mentioned the stream three times. Follow that link down below in the description if you have not yet. Also get your free Twitch Prime pack. People were getting some decent stuff out of those yesterday. Um, you can find that link uh, down below in the description as well. So if you enjoyed today's video, smash thumbs up on a comment below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you're new. We'll see if we play of the month been yet or today as well. It's been Nate for the count and catch you guys later. Peace. Out.